If you're interested in starting a flipped classroom, we suggest that you start by going to screencastomatic.com to download their software to get started. It is a free download and everything that we're going to talk about in this video is free. When you get to the website, it's going to look like this. What you're going to do is find this download and install link. You'll click on download now and then download now again and then once it in, what once it comes down from their website then you'll go through the prompts to install it I'm not gonna do that because I already have it installed on my computer once it's installed it should show up right here under the start menu in that list just in case it doesn't I'll show you how to get there go to all programs under the start menu and then scroll down to Screencast-O-Matic. And then you can launch the software from there. We are going to use the free version. And now we can choose how much of the screen we want recorded. I can move the selection around with these little squares or I can pick from this drop down menu here at the bottom. I'm going to select full screen and we'll just say I'm going to go through a PowerPoint slide. I'm going to click on the, the button with the red dot like the old VCRs had for record. and then go through the information slide by slide. Now another thing that you could do, say you're a math teacher and you want to go through an equation, you can use a smart notebook as your whiteboard. Go through the equation with your class as you're explaining things. And when you're done, we'll click back on the icon on the taskbar and we'll select done. And then go through the information slide by slide. So we can review it here. We can choose these options. What we're going to do is publish to a video file. So we want to download a specific type of video file. What I suggest you download is an MP4. Full size is fine. And click on Save Video. And I'll just save it to my desktop for the time being. In this screen, we're going to get a status of what's happening with the video. All right, now it's complete. And it's here on my desktop to be reviewed. Now the next step is uploading it to EduVision and Aaron Giskel is going to walk you through that.